All right, first part of the second half of the video. Got my husband Stefan here with me because he's going to do one of my injections. So the protocol that I was given was 0.8 milliliters of Lupron, which was given to me at the doctor's office already pre-filled, so I don't have to mix anything for that one. But it's just, it's like this. So I don't know how they determine 0.8 milliliters, but yeah. So I'm going to do that one. I don't want to do that one. You don't want to do this one. Why? You don't like doing these. Jeez, I have pricked every spot today, so I don't really have a lot of spots left. I did this one, this one, this one, and that, and then my Ganarelix in the morning. I can't see it. So let's see. How about, well, this chunk? Let's try that. I have no idea what this one's going to feel like either. Hopefully it's not bad. You should do this one. Huh? You should do this one. Yeah, right? I'm going to. Alright, so that's clean. No, that's not bad. It's a small needle. Okay, so wait, let's just make sure this is five, six, seven, point eight milliliters. Okay. I'm nervous because I don't know what it's going to feel like. It won't, it won't be bad. Three, two, one. Easy. Okay, so far it doesn't burn that bad. Just a little bit of burning. And it's all in. Go. Okay. So that one wasn't bad. Hmm. It doesn't look like it's going to bleed. Okay, that one's done. So we'll recap it. I think I have room in this sharps container. Okay. So that was the Lupron. That's part of the that's part of the trigger shot. This is Pregnol. I was given ten thousand units, but they told me I'm only supposed to do five thousand units because I'm doing a dual trigger. So this is an eighteen gauge mixing needle. This is a twenty two gauge injection needle. So that's gonna be fun. Okay, so from from what I read, hopefully the phone doesn't die during this. From what I read, okay, medication dose. If it's five thousand units of HCG, you have to draw, or you and you have a ten thousand unit vial, which I do. Uh, you do two cc or two ml, whatever, of water, using the three milliliter, um, eighteen gauge, one and a half. Okay, so I'm going to take this off. Wait. I'm glad I don't have to do that inside my butt. Wait. That would be terrible. Okay, I'm going to... Can you go get me some more alcohol pads? Um, I'm going to take this and wipe it off because I always was taught to do it that way. One or two? Two. I'm going to... I'm going to do that for both my vials here. Okay. I'm going to stick in the 18 gauge needle after I fill this with two cc's of fluid. I hope I'm doing this right. Okay. Or just two cc's of air. And then you stick it in this. Okay, you shoot in the two. Oh my god, am I in the powder? I'm in the powder. I gotta go into the same, to the solution first. See, I haven't even done this one yet. Okay, this is just the saline stuff. Okay, so inject the air. And then, I don't know if I have to flip this or not. 
I would feel like I would have to. So I need, need two cc's. Okay, so I got two cc's. Okay, I'm gonna pull this out. Okay, so confirm that's two, right? Hmm. Two. Okay, then it says only medication has um into the powder vial. Okay, so this is the powder. So I'm gonna stick this back in and I'm going to mix this up. Okay, and then I'm supposed to stir it around, make sure. Once the medication has dissolved completely, you only draw out one milliliter of mixture because we're doing a half dose. So we want to make sure it's fully dissolved before we take it out. It looks pretty dissolved. What do you think? Yeah. I don't see any chunks no, in there. Good. Okay, so then you flip it, I believe. Yeah, you have to. I'm going to pull this a little down so that this part that draws up the fluid is at the tip. And I'm going to pull out... Just one. Only one. Make sure I don't spill any of this. One. I think I'm... Oop. Nope. So this is going to be Maybe hard. you don't flip it. Well, I, I have to because I need this needle to be enough. It's a pretty long in needle. In the fluid. Are you, not, are you supposed to draw with that one or no? No, I'm supposed to draw everything with this one and then switch the needle. Okay, let's see. How much is that? Okay, so if I take this out, that's one, yeah. that's one, so, and then the rest is in there, so that's good. Okay, so now we recap this, and we screw this one off, and now we're done with that. You're supposed to put it on. Yeah, I'm just scared of this. Nah, I'm mad. All right. So wait, let's uh, before we do this, let's wipe down the area. So for this, we need to do. I'm not gonna have my butt on camera, but basically, like right here, this area. Do you want me to mark it somehow with a pen or something? Here, give me a give me a pen or something. You can just like do a dot. Or... So And when you do this one, you spread the skin. You yeah. don't pinch yeah. it. Yeah. Spread yeah. it. So Yeah, like right. Oh great, you grabbed me a pen that doesn't work. Here, I'll do a red dot. Sharpie. It's fine. It'll come off tomorrow. Okay. Should be fine. Just clean, you know. Clean that. I have to wipe this with alcohol though, so that might oh, come yeah. off a little. That's right. Okay. It's not really though. Still on. So don't actually inject right into that dot, just go like next to it or something. Oh, okay. Because I don't want Sharpie to go into my body. Oh, yeah, I guess. Oh, I'm scared. Didn't we do this one already? This is a longer needle. Yeah, but like. 
Okay. So, do you want me to pull it like this? I don't take it off. Just pull it. You just pull it. Here, let me make sure a little bit of fluid comes through that little. Make sure there's a little drop. <gasps> Too much, okay. Careful. Don't push it until we're ready. There. Well, 90 degree angle, right? Yeah, Just you like gotta this. go quick. <gasps> oh my. Quick with this stuff? Lord, okay, wait. Okay, pull it out. Oh my lordy Jesus. All right. It's good. No blood. No more. No blood. No blood. Just a big hole. Just a big hole. <sighs> wow, that was scary. He actually did okay. Did it even hurt? Um, you know what? I it didn't like burn or anything, but it just felt Sad it just felt it. weird. It just felt weird because I could feel it in my muscle. It's supposed to be in your muscle, though, so... Yeah. There we go. All right. Thank you. Mm. That is it. Seems easy. So we're done. We're done with our injections. I already did my... My doctor, surprisingly, actually, asked me to do the Gonal F uh, 75 units. Or, I'm sorry, 150 units. And the... Uh, um, 75 units of menopure again today. So I had to do that again. I can't believe I did, but after having a 32 millimeter follicle, I really didn't think I would have to do that again, but apparently I did. So anyway, um, so just to like follow up with what's going on, we, um, Okay, so I started my antibiotic. I um, started that like right at seven o'clock. Both these injections, seven o'clock. Um, and then I did my gonal F and my menopure at four o'clock because that's what she wanted me to do. And then um, tomorrow morning, I don't do any ganorelics. I don't do any injections tomorrow. The only thing I do in the morning is my um, antibiotic, and I do my antibiotic again at night, and I have to eat with that because if I take an antibiotic on an empty stomach, I feel really bad. So, um, so my egg retrieval is scheduled for Wednesday morning at 7 a.m. We have to arrive 45 minutes early. And because of COVID and everything, uh, my husband is not allowed to be with me for the egg retrieval. He, um, oh, my butt is sore. It is sore. He's not allowed to be with me for the egg retrieval, but he does have to come up, obviously, and do his um, specimen, if you know what I mean. So they told me that he'll just wait in the car after I come up, and then he'll, um, come up when they call and I'll already be in surgery when they call them up and then or I'll be getting prepped for surgery and then they'll wash everything up the sperm up and do everything with me and then after that um we'll be all done so um let's see anything else obviously no food or drink after midnight on Tuesday so we have to be there at 6 15 be early um, and I'm not I can't take my antibiotic of course before that so I'm just gonna have to take my antibiotic after we get home when I eat but yeah I'm officially done with injections until I start my progesterone and oil which she said she'll send me instructions on that probably um, either tomorrow or later um, night so I'm just waiting on that so that is everything so we're officially 
booked for our egg retrieval. And I can't believe we're done with all the stems. This is crazy. So anyway, I'm going to post this video and then um, I won't upload another video until after my egg retrieval on Wednesday. I'll let you guys know how it went. I might wait until Thursday just depending on how I feel and um, just to see if maybe I want to wait to see like what our results are as far as our fertilization rate. And um, I did get some pregnancy tests today. I know I'm not supposed to take these like when I go for my um, egg, or I'm sorry, my transfer. They want you to wait till, till you get blood work to confirm everything, but I know myself and I don't think I'm gonna be able to wait that long. So I bought two packs. And also just if I do get pregnant, I like to do like the little progression things while I'm waiting for like my blood work and stuff. So I haven't bought pregnancy tests in a long time because I've just used like the cheap, um, the cheap little ones from Amazon because I'm just like, I got, I was spending so much money on these and then after a year of trying to get pregnant, I was like, yeah, we're not going to use any more of those. We're just going to use the cheap ones. So, all right. So I'll have a video on Wednesday or Thursday with an update on how the egg retrieval went. Um, I feel right now I feel okay. We'll see in a few hours. Um, if I feel anything after taking this um, trigger shot, hopefully I won't, but I don't know. So, see you guys on Wednesday.